Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with something that caught my eye more than a video duet featuring Stevie Nicks and Olivia Newton-John. You older guys would know what I'm talking about. And that is a friend of the channel and a fellow veteran, Sliding Rhino, suggested that maybe I should do some bare bones, out of the box reviews of the weapons. So always willing to take on a challenge. I did it. And this is the first result today. I chose the Bass B because I think it's one of the better weapons in the arsenal. So here is the original configuration. I'm not going to go into it too deeply, but I have West Virginia Vern's Respite and Long Barrel, and that kind of helps with the mobility, believe it or not, but hurts the sprint to fire speed. And the 45 round mag is fairly significant, as is the Sonic Suppressor. The 45 round mag hurts mobility and aim down sight speed and ADS movement speed. And the Sonic Suppressor keeps me off the map or the mini map is what I should say. This is my free-for-all configuration for the Bass B. It's mostly small to medium range maps, and I like to carry around extra bullets I'm willing to give up other on other areas in order to carry those bullets. I was a bit skeptical about carrying a 20 round mag into free-for-all, which points out something very important, something I've already said before, and that is that the configuration should change depending on the mode, the map, and your play style. I change my configurations all the time, but if you're going bare bones for everything, that means bare bones for every map, every mode, and every play style. So it's quite a challenge. Let's do a quick deep dive into the differences between the configuration as you've seen and a bare bones Bass B. The bullet velocity, the big difference. Red is bad for the bare bones. Highlighted red is something you should take note of. Green is good, highlighted green, take note. 195 meters per second better bullet velocity, mostly due to the West Virginia barrel that we put on there. And the effective damage range is slightly better to much better for the Bass B configured. But you got to wonder, do I need more than 30 meters on a free-for-all map? Probably not. So kudos to the configured Bass B. Kill metrics are exactly the same, and here's where the bare bones starts to earn its way, and that is in the recoil. Better than the configured Bass B in every way, not significantly, but better. It's also better in the hip fire minimum spread, fairly significant, 2.9 degrees per second versus 3.3, and in the maximum, slightly better. And if the damage is the same, then the times to kill are going to be the same. Let's take a look at performance. Aim down sight speed, much better. Reload quickness, much better. Reload quickness empty, much better if you don't mess with the Bass B and put attachments on it. Crouch movement speed, sprint speed, tack sprint speed are all better. Slightly less ADS movement speed and the sprint to fire speed is better. So are we messing up the Bass B by putting attachments on it? Well, it depends on the game mode. Probably in 6v6, maybe. But in free-for-all, I do need the extra shots because running around with a dainty magazine will get you gacked. So let's take the bare bones Bass B onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and what it did for the enemy and answer that question. Are attachments for the Bass B mostly placebos, or are they effective? First time out with a bare bones Bass B since ranking it up for camos, and <laughs> Grandpa gets gacked right off the bat. Looks like somebody stepped on a proximity. So bare bones Bass B, we need a bare bones Renetti. And please stay around after the video, after the F4 lands, because uh, Captain Tommy, who had to go back for a flight, will be doing a free-for-all with a bare bones Bass B. So I didn't notice the smaller mag as much in 6v6 because I have teammates that take the attention of the enemy like in that case there. 
And the Bass B is very, very powerful. Its ADS is better, bare bones. It's sprint to fire like that. It's better, bare bones. But I had to pause and reload after almost every gack. And there's the bare bones Renetti getting two quick gacks. We have a remote turret, which means Grandpa will be shot. Deploying it. Oh, bring a fighter pilot in the mix. That always makes things better. Sort things out, the fighter pilot. So the, there he is. And I, I get gacked by my own mosquito drone. Grabbing those tags because we got to win or everything is for naught. Good ADS movement speed with the Bass B. You can see I'm already out of rounds, so I have to pull out the Renetti. But that's okay, like I said on 6v6 of them. Bass B is a powerful weapon. It's three shot kill to the head. If you can get two to the head, one to the upper torso, it's a three shot kill. So I did take off all camos off the Bass B and the Renetti. A little jumper there. And Grandpa gets beaten to death by some terrorist that's intending elder abuse. And there he is. Got him back. That guy's running a little fast, but not faster than the Renetti can shoot. But then the terrorist gets him again. We win. You know what? I couldn't tell any big difference other than it seemed to run a bit faster bare bones so i went into free for all this is going to be the test because see i already only have 10 rounds left i'm going to have to stop reload stop reload so i didn't have a lot of faith in no attachments and this just it kind of emphasizes the point right that you change your attachments based on game mode play style and map so I was forced into using bare bones, and there was somebody behind me. I did see them, but I didn't feel like I could engage them. But I could engage that person. So Grandpa loves the power of the Bass B, attachments or not. It, it's a gacamole machine. There's somebody with their black bathrobe on. And Grandpa was about to renetti him. Every time, though, you got to be very cognizant of your, the state of your magazine. How many bullets are left? But the actual performance of the weapon, like there, is slightly better with no attachments. Don't need a sight. I mean, Grandpa got a few long shots without a sight. You don't need a stock. You don't need a, a grip or an underbarrel grip attachment. There's a guy who wants to, to gack Grandpa. The Elvis. Elvis is now carrying a sword. The king. And there he is again. Grandpa's inching his way up. Don't know what he was looking at. And I think, you know what? Bare bones. The Bass B is powerful. Is it as powerful as it is with attachments? Definitely. You know, the West Virginia barrel gives us a little more, a little more range. But do you see anywhere where I could use the extra range here? Because that's got to be inside 30 meters right there. And chase this guy around. Hip shot, much better without attachments. Who knows if I would have gotten that gack. Of course, taking bullets is the same no matter what you have on your weapon. There's the obligatory knifer in his black bathrobe. Again, remember, Pilot Tommy's coming up. We're about to win this one. We've got a significant lead. Overall, I think the weapon is as good or better without attachments as it is with attachments. 
ideal and free for all for me would be the 40 round mag because the extra engagement. So please like and subscribe helps me, helps the family. Take some coffee there. Take a look at the last GAC. We have somebody wearing purple. Periwinkle. That's a periwinkle guy. Cheers and peace to you. Have a little extra sip of coffee. And we'll do the SVA tomorrow. <laughs>
Shortfield, mission accomplished.